Is that your question, whether Buddhism is more religion or philosophy? Depends on how you take it and depends on what you mean by religion and what you mean by philosophy. Religion, from the, uh, from the modern definition of the word religion, religio means co uh, repeated, repeated um, connection, repeated application, applica applying yourself again and again and again to a supernatural object, either a god or a supernatural goal or a utopian imagination or whatever it is, that would make a religion because you are repeatedly applying yourself to a paradigm. You are applying yourself to a supernatural thing. This would be a religion from the scholarly point of view. But maybe you think religion, aha, that's, that means I'll find a statue and bow to it. So, no, that would not be the scholarly explanation of the word religion. Philosophy, if we compare philosophy to religion, that's much easier. So, philosophy counters the religion in terms that religion is accepting the things in the way the teacher or the supernatural uh, paradigm dictates it, whereas philosophy tries to get deeper and deeper and find it out by yourself. And in Buddhism, I would say that on the path, you start with Buddhism as a religion and you grow and you grow and become accomplished in Buddhism as a philosophy. So first you start with the faith in the teacher. You believe that maybe what he says is true, let me try. And then as you try and try, because you believe, you try. You believe again, you try. It doesn't work. You believe more. You try harder and harder. And then suddenly you see for yourself. You examine yourself. This body works like this. This mind works like this. Reality is like this. It's not like that. You see it yourself and you go deeper and deeper and deeper in your own investigation. You yourself are entirely empowered in your research of looking at the reality. It's just that the teachings gives you the, the framework. It tells you, hey, you can look at the reality this way, that way, that way, that way. Try it out and see what you will find out. And then, because you believed, because you had faith, you try it out, even though there would be difficulties. But as you try out, it starts to be easier. You start to get, you know, you start to get the, uh, the habit, the skills to be a real philosopher and you find the reality as it really is. But you will finally end up in, in evidence. It's no more religion. It's no more philosophy. It ends up with evidence, with your own experience. Philosophy is not experiential. Philosophy is not meant to be experiential because as soon as you find out a real truth, it's no more philosophy, it becomes religion. So philosophy always criticizes, 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 criticizes. Science also should be like that, but it's not. You know, people believe what scientists say, then it's no more science, it becomes a religion. You know, you believe that there was uh, that uh, there was a big bang it's a religion sorry you know you believe that there is nothing or that there is something in the black in the what's that black hole that's a religion sorry it's no more science right so in buddhism we go there into the reality into the present moment and we see we experience it ourselves so it surpasses religion and philosophy and becomes your own experience.